Hello, this weekend we'll see some big changes. Storm cloudier will be fizzling out and that will allow things to turn a bit colder. In fact, we start the weekend pretty chilly across much of Scotland. Temperatures well down into single figures, such frost likely in the countryside. Meanwhile, across the south of England, temperatures may well start Saturday in double digits. There'll be a brisk easterly wind making it feel pretty fresh on some of these North Sea coasts. But the winds won't be as strong on Saturday as they will be on Friday because of storm cloud yet. And it's this weather front which both marks the boundary between the warm and the cold air and is also providing the heavy rain during Friday. There are weather warnings in place. I'm not going to go through them here. This is the weekend forecast. If you want more details on the current warnings, check our app or our website. But this weather front, as I say, is from Storm Claudia, named by the Spanish Weather Service, bringing them some very heavy rain as well over the next day or so. The storm itself kind of milling around to the west of the Bay of Biscay. It doesn't move very far. It continues to weaken as we go through the weekend. What that does allow is the colder air sitting across Scotland to push further south, and the blue colours take hold of the map. So it's going to turn colder for all of us as we go through the weekend. Let's put a, a little bit of detail on that if we rewind the clock. That weather front, although not providing torrential rain anymore, still uh, bringing cloud and uh, outbreaks of rain across northern England, parts of Wales and Northern Ireland during Saturday. I say the rain won't be as heavy, but going to make for a cold, dank, pretty dismal day over parts of uh, Yorkshire down through to Lincolnshire. And as I mentioned, feeling particularly chilly on those North Sea coasts with the wind coming in here. Much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, dry, bright, some sunny spells, especially over northern Scotland, and the winds will be lighter here. The winds won't be as strong as on Friday further south, but uh, still providing quite a bit of cloud. Small chance of one or two showers in the southwest of England. Most likely that they'll be uh, staying over the Channel Islands, however. So with a bit of brightness in the south, still got the mild air in place. Uh, temperatures could get it to 13 or 14 Celsius, but elsewhere it is starting to turn cold and certainly feeling pretty grim, I suspect. 9 or 10 at best uh, across parts of eastern England. Add on that wind and it will feel quite a bit colder with the cloud and the rain and drizzle too. Now there is storm cloud. Yeah, as I say, still milling around but continuing to weaken. The isobars opening up, so not as uh, wet, not as windy, but it is starting to turn a little bit colder. Still quite a bit of cloud across uh, much of England and Wales to start with on Sunday. Still a little bit of rain and drizzle over the hills and mountains of Wales. That should fizzle out. Then another weather front introducing more cloud and some showers across northern Scotland. Later on, they may turn to a bit of snow over the hills. But generally speaking, a lot of dry weather on Sunday. Should be a brighter day for northern England. Some sunny spells, particularly to the west of the Pennines, probably brighter too for northern Ireland also. Still, uh, a brisk wind may change direction slightly on some of those North Sea coasts, but uh, still going to make it feel fairly fresh, I would have thought, here. And temperatures generally uh, a degree or so down across the south. So uh, feeling pretty fresh in the wind. But with a bit of sunshine, West Wales actually might feel a bit more pleasant on Sunday compared to Saturday. But that colder air is sticking around, it looks like, into next week with a little bit of snow possible over on the hill. So plenty going on with the weather, even well into next week. As I mentioned, do keep up to date with the weather warnings through our app and our website.